division of polynomials is very different than the other basic operations we've done on polynomials. A rational expression is a fraction with polynomials in both the numerator and denominator, so it's division of polynomials. Resistors are circuit components that reduce the, the um, flow of current or the flow of electricity, uh, which tends to make circuits safer. If we have two resistors, say 150 ohms, uh, this symbol here is OHM, that's the unit of, of resistance. 150 ohms and another with x ohms, if they're connected in parallel, which is like like that, it's two things that are separated. They're, they're not in series, which would be along the same line. Anyway, the total resistance can be given by this expression. This is a rational expression. We have a linear um, equation on top or a linear expression on top. A linear expression on bottom those are both polynomials this is a rational expression now if x equals 100 what is the effective resistance or the total resistance for this uh, situation all we have to do is plug in 100 into the expression and calculate so we're gonna get uh, 150 with two zeros after it it's 15,000 and then over 250 Going ahead and plugging that in the calculator. We get 60 ohms. So it's actually going to be less than um, each resistor by themselves. Now for the next one. Plug in 10,000. Take 10,000 plus 150. Okay, we can once again plug this into our calculator. Let's see, one, two, three, four over 10, 150. That's going to give us approximately 147.78 ohms. Now, when working with rational expressions, factoring is key. And to simplify these expressions, we're going to factor everything, then cancel common factors. Okay, before we cancel um, factors in the denominator, we must exclude any values when the denominator equals zero. This is because those values give us a division by zero, which of course is not allowed in mathematics. So we have to remove them from the possibilities that the variable can equal. So um, here we have a rational expression. I'm going to factor everything and then go from there. So first off, I'm going to rewrite the top in the normal or standard form for a polynomial. The bottom, I'm actually gonna leave it like this for a moment. On top, I have a trinomial. I'm going to try out the um, AC method. A times C is 20. B is 9. Um, two numbers that multiply, they give 20. Add to give 9. It's 4 and 5. And I can use a shortcut method here. So T plus 4. T plus 5 is our uh, factored form. Now, uh, 16 minus t squared, this is a difference of two squares. This is actually 4 squared minus t squared, which means I can factor it down into 4 minus t, 4 plus t. And um, I can rewrite the bottom by flipping the 4 plus t around. And of course, you can see that t plus 4 cancels on top and bottom. But before we cancel that, we must ask the question, when is the bottom equal to zero? That happens when four minus t equals zero, which of course happens at um, t equal to four, and when t plus four equals zero, which of course is t equal to negative four. In other words, t cannot equal four and t cannot equal negative four because those cannot equal zero. We cannot have a division by zero. So now, once we've done that, we can cancel out the common factors. 
and we get t plus 5 over 4 minus t, where t does not equal plus or minus 4. That is going to be our simplified expression. And even though the simplified expression, there's no issue when you plug in negative 4, right? When you plug in negative 4, you get negative 4 plus 5 is 1 over 4 minus negative 4. That's going to be 4 plus 4, so 8. And you get 1 eighth if you plug in negative 4 into this final expression. However, we didn't start with this expression. We started with this expression here. And this expression does have an issue with positive and negative 4. All right, go ahead and try it in number 1. Now, we can, of course, do operations on rational expressions just like they are like they are for fractions. So think of the rules for fractions, and those are going to help guide you on how to do these things um, for rational expressions. Now, to multiply and divide, these, of course, are easier to do than uh, adding and subtracting fractions. Um, to multiply and divide, we're going to factor everything and simplify. So uh, this uh, top left is already factored. The bottom left here, I can factor this down into, let's see, a times c is negative 12, b is negative 11. That's going to give us negative 12 and positive 1. Uh, yep, okay, and, and I can do the, the full ac method now, since I can't use a shortcut. We get 3x squared minus 12x plus 1x minus 4. And then I can do factoring by grouping. Now the first two terms, I can take out a 3x. And the next two, I can take out a positive 1. And we get x minus 4, 3x plus 1. So that's the factored form of this thing. I can remove that and just write the factored form in there. OK, next one, I have x squared plus 2x plus 1. This is going to be uh, a times c is 1, b is positive 2. This has to be plus 1 and plus 1. And I can immediately factor it down because a is 1. We get x plus 1, x plus 1. Finally, the bottom right, x squared minus 1. This is the difference of two squares. x squared and 1 squared. So that means we're going to get x plus 1, x minus 1 for our factored forms. And there are, are a few things that we can cancel here. But first, we have to ask, when is the denominator equal to 0? That's going to be when x minus 4 equals 0, which, of course, is x equal to 4. Um, when 3x plus 1 equals 0, just solving that, you're going to see x cannot equal negative 1 third. Um, x plus 1 equals 0. That means x cannot equal negative 1 and x minus 1 equals 0, so x cannot equal positive 1. Those are our four exclusions. And now we can simplify. So I'm going to cancel out, let's see, I got a negative 1, x minus 1, x minus 1 there, x minus 4, and then I have this x plus 1 here. OK, writing it out, we have x plus 1 over um, 3x plus 1, where, of course, x cannot equal plus or minus 1, 4, and negative 1 third. Okay, for this expression, we have multiplication and division. Um, remember, when you're dividing fractions, we're gonna, you're not going to divide. You're going to actually multiply by the reciprocal. Before I do that, however, I'm going to factor everything. So on the top, I have a uh, sum of two cubes. This is going to break down into z plus 3, then z squared minus 3z plus uh, 9. Again, look back at the algorithm um, in the pre previous video. 9 minus z squared, this is 3 squared minus z squared, so we get z minus Oh, sorry, 3 minus z, 3 plus z as a factored form. z plus 4 is already factored, um, so is z minus 4, actually. For this one, I can use the AC method. a times c is going to be uh, 2 times negative 3, so negative 6. 
then minus 5. That tells me we're going to have negative 6 and plus 1. Okay, doing the full AC method on this, we get 2z squared minus 6z plus 1z minus 3. I can take out a 2z from the first two terms and a positive 1 for the next two. That's going to give me 2z plus 1, z minus 3. Okay, this last expression, uh, once again, the AC method is going to be 10 over 11. It has to be 10 and positive 1. So it's going to be uh, 2z squared plus 10, 10z plus 1z plus 5. Now I can take out the first two terms, 2z, z plus 5, and then positive 1 again, z plus 5. It's going to give me 2z plus 1 z plus 5. All right, so now I have the factored form of everything, and so the rest of the work comes down to canceling common factors and asking when the denominator equals 0. Now, the important thing to note here is that we have a division. A division by a fraction, you multiply by the reciprocal, which means we're going to end up flipping that fraction. However, currently, this portion here is in the denominator of this fraction, which means that z cannot equal zero for these two these two parts, right? Uh, or, or sorry, uh, z cannot equal something that makes these zero. So we have to first exclude all the zeros here first, then flip it, and you're going to see we can get a potentially another zero after we flip it because c plus four on top here is going to go into the bottom. So first off, let's go ahead and see what, what, what we get. Um, this means that z cannot equal 3. Uh, this one here means it can't equal negative 3. This one here means z cannot equal negative 1 half. That one's 3 again, so there's no, no reason to write that. This one's again negative 1 half. And this one is negative 5. Okay, now... Let's go through and multiply by the reciprocal. So this first fraction stays the same. We get z plus 3, z squared minus 3z plus 9 over 3 minus z, 3 plus z. Okay, now we're going to multiply by the reciprocal of the second fraction. That means this denominator is going to go on top, 2z plus 1 z minus 3 over z plus 4. And then this last fraction stays the same. That hasn't, that hasn't been changed at all, besides being factored, of course. And so now you can see, well, we have a new denominator that can make it equal to 0. And that tells us that z cannot equal negative 4. So don't forget that extra step in there. At this point, all we have to do is cancel cancel common factors. So we have, let's see, um, 2z plus 1, 2z plus 1. Um, here, z plus 3 and, and 3 plus z, those are actually common factors. And then I can actually take this one and write this as negative z plus 3. And I can factor out a negative sign from this. It's going to give me negative z minus 3. That will cancel with z minus 3 on top. That looks to be it. So make sure you don't forget this negative sign here. It's going to be a negative in there. So this is all canceled out. It's going to be a negative in front of it. So on top we have this term, z squared minus 3z plus 9 and the z minus 4. On bottom we have a negative, I'm going to actually move the negative out in front, z plus 4 and z plus 5, where of course z cannot equal plus or minus 3, negative 1 half, negative 5, and negative 4. And that's the full one.
I wanted to show a longer one so that you can see all the steps um, involved in it. And this uh, important bit here where you multiply by the reciprocal, you gotta make sure you're looking at both the top and the bottom and canceling those things because they can give you zero in the denominator. Give it a try in number two.